Alright guys, so you guys know that the new guild boss battle has arrived and we're gonna have to battle three individual bosses in order to gain trophies for your guild. Alright, so in order to gain rewards now, it is going to be divided into tiers uh, just like or the ranks, just like how Arena is as well as how Cookie Alliance is. And depending on your trophy, you are going to be getting different rewards every single week as well as at the end of the month where the season is going to end. To talk about exactly what is going on, there are going to be 9 total tickets that you're going to be actually able to save up and attack at once. So instead of using your daily uh, you know, battles, you can actually save up up to 3 days and then use it before it resets which means that you don't need to be attacking every single day and you know take the time out of one day uh, out of the three to attack and contribute to your guild i think that's a really really good thing sometimes for people who forget or you know who uh, are busy you don't need to force them to log in every single day to do so and now that there is three individual bosses it kind of gets rid of the constant uh, repetition that was uh, there however of course uh, as time goes by if there is no real switch inside of the bosses uh, then that uh, is going to be another constant problem that is going to be faced but I gotta let you guys know after testing each of these bosses out uh, you know from the live stream as well as afterwards gotta say it is definitely uh, different and it is going to be a lot uh, more fun I feel like versing different bosses rather than just attacking the good old red velvet dragon uh, but you guys can see right even though their level is really really low uh, compared to before their HP is gonna be massive all right so uh, definitely the comps are going to change a little bit uh, and also, uh, depending on the boss that you're going to be attacking, uh, your result is also going to be different and the team composition is also going to be different. So quickly, just talking about Red Velvet Dragon, you guys can tell right here that, you know, Red Velvet Dragon, even at level 11, it's going to have 143 million HP, which means that, you know, your comps are going to be a bit different. Uh, you're, of course, the... Uh, power and attack and everything is going to be pretty high as well so in the beginning of course you're going to still use uh, your probably low level dragon comps in order to uh, deal as much damage and sustain as possible and then as you get further about you know level 5 or 6 probably going to be switching back to high burst damage comp in order to deal the damage uh, that you will need to uh, before uh, your cookies are going to get one shotted so red velvet dragon not too much of a difference here uh, but the two biggest difference are going to be the avatar of destiny as well as the living abyss so talking about avatar of destiny all right first you're gonna be able to see that this boss is going to have a passive where all debuffs are going to be uh you know like non-effective all right and it's actually going to be doing negative uh to your team by stacking all right this uh reversal which is going to uh actually reflect uh, back damage at three stacks, all right. So once reversal stack is at three times, uh, destiny reversal is triggered, dealing damage to your entire team proportional to their max HP and stunning them. So I've actually used my main, you know, Red Velvet Dragon team during the live stream, and my god, my team just literally got it absolutely bursted before I can do anything. So definitely the focus of versing uh, this Avatar of Destiny is going to be using cookies that do not do debuffs. However, I gotta let you know, Burn from Rise skill, as well as Rise Mench Candy, as well as Vampire's Vampiric Bite does not trigger this effect. So you guys are actually able to use Rye and Vampire for this comp. So which means that Vampire is still going to be one of the best and the number one cookie used inside of the guild boss battle for all three uh, of the bosses all right so i'm gonna get to the abyss later but just to let you guys know vampire is going to be one of the best and then also you guys can see uh, right here the destiny doom targets the nearest member of your team target cookies first and after some time deal true damage equal to 100 percent of the target's max hp so there's only one particular way to actually prevent this from happening and that is going to be using someone like pure vanilla uh to shield uh, your cookies because actually the shield is going to protect them and leave them at a little bit of an hp because the shield is going to cover a bit of that damage all right so that is going to be one of the ways to uh, prevent it but personally speaking from my experience as well as uh you know kind of uh looking at it from the live stream and with the help of other viewers i've actually came up with this team right here uh and it is going to be a very very strong team honestly speaking 
and it is going to be focusing on being able to do damage uh, to the avatar before they die, all right? Just kind of bursting it through, especially uh, higher level, your, your cookies are not going to survive as much. So you guys can see right here, uh, my team is going to be uh, Pomegranate, uh, Cherry Blossom, Oyster, Vampire, and Rye. All of the damage mainly is going to be coming through Vampire, and then I'm actually utilizing uh, the new treasure here, and that is going to be the Honey Crown. Uh, if you don't have the Honey Cream Crown, then definitely the site is going to work because you are going to be getting uh, the crit damage as well as crit boost from Oyster. Uh, so let me just kind of show you at level 7, uh, you're going to be able to see that this team, honestly speaking, it's... It's, it's a work in progress, alright? So definitely, like, the toppings and stuff are not, like, crazy. Uh, but first of all, the best thing to do here is you're going to be spamming the ability, okay? So you pomegranate, cherry blossom. So first time around, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of the uh, honey. Uh, I'm probably sure later on we're going to be able to do something so that you can. Alright, but here we go. So cherry blossom is the first one to go here. And then you can see the walls are going to be coming up. So this wall is actually going to kind of uh, screw you over because it's going to prevent your cookies from actually reaching uh, the avatar to deal damage, alright? So, but you can see right there, Vampire is going to be the only one who's actually able to kind of reach the boss. Uh, and then that beam is just uh, ridiculous as well, alright? So, kind of doing the burst damage here. Uh, 17 million, uh, I've actually hit about 19 million as well uh, with Vampire being able to crit. Uh, and of course, once I get the timing down for the crown, uh, definitely Vampire is going to be able to utilize uh, a bit more damage uh, output as well. But you can see that definitely uh, you're not going to be able to use your old cons for the Red Velvet Dragon. You're going to need a team that's going to do straight up raw damage. That's the reason why I like Cherry Blossom and I'm sure like Squid Ink or maybe Black Raisin as well as someone like Sorbet. Uh, even the Speed Comp might be something that you guys might want to uh, try out for this uh, particular team. And of course, different comps are going to come out to fit the play style that you guys are going to uh, need. And then later on, once uh, you know everything is settled, the best comp probably is going to be coming out. But next one is going to be the Living Abyss. So Living Abyss is a little bit different uh, than what you guys actually versed in 13-30 as well. Uh, so the passive here is going to be gain immunity from all debuffs except for burns and vampiric bite and become highly resistant to damage. And also uh, you can see right here, burn and vampiric bite is actually uh, going to go through uh, this particular boss's passive. So that's why Rai as well as Vampire are going to be very, very strong. And it says Abyssal High passive. Increase two blobs of licorice ooze at certain intervals. The boss will also receive the same amount of damage when the summon licorice ooze blobs are hit. Summon licorice ooze monsters are weaker against injury. All right, so uh, definitely something's gonna be uh, coming out here. Uh, maybe we can use injury debuffs and things like that. I'm not too sure exactly how it's gonna work. Maybe like you know using uh, espresso might work here. Uh, but I'm sure like. The summoner comp might be a very interesting comp to uh, go in here as well. The fork actually is uh, very interesting as well, uh, but I feel like this is going to be a bit more testing that is going to be required. Maybe I can just use a scythe here, or actually a pincushion, uh, because we have uh, oyster, cotton, and uh, our crunchy uh, doing damage. So here we go, level 6 boss here. Alright, here we go. So just uh, leaving it at... Uh, yeah, probably leaving it at auto here. Uh, we can probably just take advantage of the uh, damage here. So you can see that the claw mark and the vampire bite actually uh, is going to be marked. But of course, uh, once the uh, vampire or the passive kicks in, uh, this is going to become pretty meaningless. And then uh, we see our uh, crunchy kind of taking damage right there. But not a problem. Uh, he's supposed to die, right? So. It's kind of hectic right there. I I wish they kind of got rid of this uh, all these numbers if possible. So here we go. Probably Crunchy is gonna die here, and then the wolf is gonna come out. No, actually, the time ran out before. So maybe you guys can take definitely utilize something else. Uh, but you can see 38 a million damage right there with a team like this. Um, and Vampire actually doing the least amount of damage, but Espresso kind of becoming a really, really good one here because the damage that you deal to the ooze is going to be uh, reflected back to the actual Abyss as well. So I feel like the injury from uh, 
espresso and the passive from espresso because stun is going to be uh you know non-existent for that boss espresso is actually able to deal more damage if your match candy is at least plus 10. Uh, so definitely different teams are gonna have to come into play here guys and again i will be testing out different teams uh, but right now i think this is going to be something that you know you guys can see uh, coming into play here and the approach to the individual bosses are going to be different as well but definitely we're gonna need more testing that needs to be uh, done and also just a quick uh, reminder uh, to you guys i have to still test out milk as well as rye inside of the different game mode but as of right now i feel like rye is geared towards more of the guild boss battle and I think that milk cookie is geared towards more of the arena. Anyways, guys, just uh, wanted to quickly share this with you guys uh, because I'm sure you guys are wondering exactly what to do. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I'll make an individual guide uh, for each of these bosses as soon as possible and we'll share with you guys uh, in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.